select a site where the Autolift HE floor scale will not have overweight loads passing over the scale. Avoid areas where the scale could be damaged by side impacts or receive shock damage from falling objects. Interface cables should be run through conduit to protect against potential cable damage. Install the pit in a suitable poured concrete foundation, allowing seven days to cure. Wet the concrete periodically during this time. Once the foundation has cured, the cylinders and scale platform can be installed. Fit the pivoting intermediate frame over the hinge pins. The intermediate frame must be seated on the pit coping corner plates. Attach the rod end of each cylinder to the intermediate frame support tube. The cylinder muffler must face upward toward the scale. Adjust each cylinder rod until it is approximately one inch from the fully retracted position. Place the pivot brackets against the pit floor and use them as templates to mark the mounting hole locations. Ensure air cylinders are parallel with each other and square with the intermediate frame support tube. Drill holes, install anchors, and secure the cylinder pivot brackets to the pit floor. Mount the cylinders to the pivot brackets. Install the safety bar on the intermediate frame. Never work under a raised scale without the safety bar properly positioned in the corner of the pit coping. Attach the main airline to the inlet side of the regulator. Attach airlines and apply 85 to 100 PSI to the cylinders. Make sure there are no air leaks. Feed load cell cables through the conduit. Route the load cell cables on the same side as the hinge mechanism. Leave a strain relief loop to allow enough cable for free movement of the scale in the lifted position without tension in the cables. Place the platform scale onto the intermediate frame, making sure the feet sit on the corner pads without rocking. Adjust the feet as necessary so the platform is level to within one fourth of an inch. Open and close the Autolift HE. Make any needed adjustments to the descent speed and cable length. Connect the junction box and weight indicator according to wiring charts in the installation manual. Proceed with calibration. Installation is complete.